today I'm going to be organizing and decluttering different spaces in the master bedroom. And I'm going to be starting here with my closet. So I did this space a few months ago. I'm actually not sure how long ago it was. I have a video. I will link that down below. But I organized this closet and it's still pretty organized. It has gotten messy over time and I've just cleaned it up and it's been fine. It's worked out well. However, I have accumulated more clothes since I did that video. So now I do not have enough hangers to hang up all of my clothes. So I've just been piling the extras up on this shelf. Now this is all of my clothes. I don't pack things away seasonally. So I have tank tops and short sleeve shirts and long sleeve shirts all out year round. But I just don't think I need any more clothes than what's already in here. Even with my entire wardrobe being in here, I feel like it's still enough. So I don't want to get more hangers and try to shove them in there. I'd rather just get rid of some things. So I've mostly just gotten new tops. I don't think I've really gotten any new jeans or pants since I did that video. So I don't really need to go through those. I mean, I may look through them and see if there's anything I haven't worn and go ahead and get rid of it if I haven't worn it. But it's mostly the tops that I'm going to be going through. I'll also go through my bags again and see if there's any of those I can get rid of. I have some more down there and then some hanging up here as well. I brought a basket out here so I can go ahead and start going through and taking things out. And I'm just going to put them in this basket for right now. And here is Dusty. I'm going to go ahead and look through. And the ones that I haven't worn at all since it's been cold, I'm just going to go ahead and take them out. If I'm being 100% honest, I don't think I've worn any of these since it's gotten cold. But there are a few in here that I think I'm still going to keep. And then there are a few that I do think can probably be gotten rid of. I think this little section here is what I've actually worn. And some of them a lot more than others. So I've just been bringing all the clothes out in sections and laying them on the bed. I already went through the long sleeve and the hoodies. And now I'm getting ready to go through all the t-shirts. And see if there's any of those I can get rid of. This is what I have so far. This is the long sleeve shirts, the hoodies, and cardigans. I have finished going through all of the hanging clothes. And here are all the extra hangers that I have. I do still have maybe two or three shirts in the laundry. But I'll still have all of these extra and everything is hung up now. And then here is my basket of clothes to get rid of. I'm actually pretty happy about it because I wasn't sure I was going to find a lot to get rid of. But after I started going through it and trying on things, it was pretty easy. So I'm done with my closet. I went through the bags a little bit and organized everything a little better. So I have backpacks and other types of bags down there. I have my Miller bag and my lighten up duffel and my other two duffels there. I have shorts in here, swimsuits and leggings in this one, and then pajamas in the bottom one. I have tank tops that I wear underneath other shirts in that one, and bras and underwear. And all my pants on the shelf. And then these are the two bins that I usually put little gifts for my girls in that I get throughout the year. So. I usually have something on hand for them. And then I have crossbody bags in this one, and then my paint clothes are in that bag. And my shoes. My travel toiletry bag. And then the rest of my shoes. These are my sneakers. So now I'm just going to go through my nightstand and organize those drawers and kind of clean up over here on my vanity. This is just how it's gotten messy over the past month. And the drawers don't have a lot in them, but just some random things. This one's the messiest one, my socks. I have to take all these out and straighten those up. A little bit in there. In there. So 
I found this vanity stool at Target. It was on clearance, so I got it for $39. And here's the top now. I don't do my makeup here. I usually just fix my hair. I have my hair straightener here, so I don't have that kind of stuff out here. I mostly just have a little bit of jewelry, some earrings down there. I have some bracelets here. And then little knickknacks and things that my girls have made or given me. And I have this little shelf that I bought from Goodwill for 99 cents. I bought it a few years ago and I just spray painted it black and decided to hang it up here to use for my nail polish. And then I got this little tray from Ross. It was only $3.99. So I could kind of keep all of these products together. And I just hung up my mini ears with a command hook. Those are the only mini ears that I own. I've been to Disney World six times and never bought ears. So the last trip we went on, I specifically wanted to get ears. And I decided to hang them there so I could see them. And that is it for the vanity area. Here's the top drawer of the nightstand. I just have this little tray here with some lotions and chapstick in it. it has some floss picks back here. I have a notepad and a pen because we have the phone right there. So in case I need to write down any messages, I have this in here. And then I have our extra remote controls. And this is just a little stuffed animal I've had since I was a kid. And that's the top drawer. The next drawer is where I keep all of my socks. I do have some in the wash. They would just go there. But I did get rid of some and made it a lot neater. Then this drawer, I just have a few Bibles that I've had since I was a kid. These all have my name on them. I have some magazines. And I have this baby monitor. We only use this when the girls are sick, then I'll turn it on. And they have the other part of it back by their rooms. Other than that, it just stays in here. Then here in the last drawer, I have these two trays. This was on the vanity before, and I just decided to put it in here with this one. This has nail stuff in it, and then this has a small travel size hair dryer and curling iron that I will use sometimes. I have a regular size hair dryer in the guest bathroom, but I don't really dry my hair that often, so I just have this small one up here in case I want to. And then I just have two massagers in here as well. And that is it for the nightstand. And then I have this dresser. I'm just going to be doing the top drawer and the two bottom drawers today. I'm just going to go through and organize that. This one is the one that it just has the DVDs that I did a video on a while back. So I'll probably just go through that stuff later. This one, all kinds of cosmetic bags and things like that. And then this bottom one is like travel stuff. So I'm just going to take everything out and see what I have in here. So I have all these ditty bags that I really don't use very often. I tried using this one one day at a water park to put our wet swimsuits in when we were done. And after I put the swimsuits in it, they soaked completely through the bag. It did not keep the outside of the bag dry. These bags, however, I've used at the water park multiple times. I can put wet swimsuits in here and the outside stays dry. They do not soak through the bag. So these are my go-to bags for wet swimsuits. I used this one on our trip to Disney recently and then I, I like to use these bags for dirty laundry as well. So I got these off of Amazon. I can put a link for those, but these bags are definitely way better to use for wet items than the ditty bags. So I'm not sure if I want to keep these. I use them occasionally just to kind of tote random things around. I have put my youngest daughter's dance clothes in them before and used it for that, but I don't know. 
I don't know if I really need them if I don't use them that much. So here's all the different wristlets and wallets that I have that I can go through. And then these are all more like cosmetic style bags. Actually, this one is a pencil bag. So this one I may just move out to the kids stuff. And I have these two waste bags here. And I also have this packable sling backpack that I used at Disney World. So I just need to go through all of this stuff and see if there's any of this that I can get rid of. So this drawer has all the travel items in it. I've already taken out some of the bags that were over here. I'm just going to go ahead and take everything else out and go through all of it. So here are all the bags that I pulled out of my closet and out of the dresser that I'm probably going to be getting rid of so I can take these out of the room. So I think I am going to clean this drawer out and move these movies that are in here. This is just kind of where they ended up when we moved into this house. Our living room is right there. There's the TV and the DVD player. So they just kind of ended up in here. But I think I'm going to try and clean out one of the sides of the entertainment center and see what I can fit in there. So I was able to clean out this side of the entertainment center and move the DVDs in here. I had this basket in our linen closet and they all fit in here pretty perfectly. And then up top are empty DS game cases because she has all the little games in her travel case. There's an extra remote and some cleaning spray for the TV. And then this is all the manuals for the video games and the TV. And we did have extra game supplies down here. And I just moved those to this side. It was all of this stuff on this side. And there's plenty of room in this basket, so I just moved it there so I could make room for the DVDs. This side of the entertainment center just holds all of the video games. And we do still have more movies here in this case. It's right next to the living room. These are all the kids' movies, so these are the movies that the girls will watch more often. And my youngest daughter has... A DVD player in her bedroom so a lot of times she'll just grab a movie from here and take it to her room. So I have all of these packing cubes but the last few trips we've gone on I really haven't used them. I usually just use one for undergarments and that's about it. So I think I'm gonna go through and get rid of some of these. I originally just had them all in this bin and they were stored under the bed but I think I'm gonna go through and just keep a few of them and keep them in this dresser with the rest of the travel stuff. So now I'm just going to go ahead and clean out this drawer. There's really just a lot of randomness in this drawer and a lot of this stuff actually can go in other places. So I'm not sure what's going to be left in here when I'm done. I might move something else in the drawer. Here's all of my Fitbit bands. Really, once I've worn them and they get all gross, I can probably just get rid of them because... I usually just order new ones from Amazon and you can get them so cheap that there's really no point in keeping the old ones once they get all worn out. So now I'm going to show you the cleaned out dresser drawers. So here's the top drawer. Just have an extra remote back here. Then these are my extra Fitbit bands and this is an extra charger that I have. I have this little Lion King box that I keep money for Disney World in. I have a bunch of quarters and pennies for the pressed penny machines in here. And then I have this little bin with some lint rollers in it and then this little screwdriver. I just keep the screwdriver in here because these knobs come loose all the time so I just keep the screwdriver in here so I could tighten them up without having to go find the screwdriver when I need it. So this drawer, I have this bin in here which is where I'm keeping all of our travel brochures and Disney bands. And I have the packing cubes in here. And then 
this drawer starts the travel stuff and extra wallets and cosmetic bags. So I have the wet bags over here and laundry bags. It's a cosmetic bag. Here is the waste pack. There's a few of the smaller packing cubes back here. Then I have the little wallets and lanyards in this basket. The packable backpack. Cosmetic bags and wallets over here. And then here in the last drawer is all of my little travel items. I have these little shoebox bins in here to divide it up. And I have a travel hair straightener, some ponchos, these little waterproof pouches for your cell phone, little travel toiletries. I also have a few in the bathroom as well and some that are already in my travel cosmetic bag that I have in the closet. I have this little travel potty seat, which we're probably only going to need for another year or so, and then we'll be getting rid of that. And then in here I have extra tablet chargers and phone chargers, because usually when we go on trips I just take the extra ones with us. And then I have a Disney World poncho back here. I also decided to get some curtains for the room to change it up a little bit. I took the balances down. These are gray and white stripes. And the gray has a little bit of shimmer to it. You can't really see it in this light, but I'll insert a clip of it up close so you can see it a little better. So next I'm probably gonna be working on the kitchen cabinets. And that will be in a video coming soon, hopefully. But that is it for this video. So thanks for watching and I will see you next time.